What's up, everybody? Polius here. Let's play some renowned explorers? Where did this come from? So, it's a game that I had for a while, and I haven't really played much of it recently at all, but it's kind of a cool game that um, I wanted to check out. I, again, I don't know a whole lot about it. Uh, basically, I watched, I just saw many a true nerd playing and was like, yeah, you know, I kind of want to play this game. So let's do the adventure mode. Hmm. I mean, if I'm being honest, if I were to sit down and play this game, not as Polius plays, but as uh, Joey, the, the guy playing a video game, I would 100% select discovery mode. I just want to make... But, you know what? I know that if I don't do adventure mode... Disables adventure plus achievements. Eh. We'll start with normal. The next game we'll do, we'll do, uh... We'll do the classic. Crew selection tutorial. This first screen you can pick... Yeah, like I said, I haven't touched this game in so long. I forgot that I actually futzed around with some of this stuff. Uh, select a captain. Gives you unique ability. Can unlock more captains by playing the game. Yep, yep, yep. Select other slots to the other crew. I do know that you generally want to be a little more... Uh, you don't want to... My impression of watching True Nerd, uh, one True Nerd play is you don't want to be... You don't want to spread out and be like, all right, I got this guy who's friendly and this guy who's devious. You kind of want like a team that can co you know, cohesively follow a strategy. But that's my impression from watching three videos of this game. The, a grand total of what, like an hour of gameplay. So let's see. We've got Anna Proskuryakova. She's balanced but is best with aggressive or devious. All right, so there's three different combat styles, which is aggressive, devious, or uh, uh, friendly. All right, so there's a glass can with very high speed and high attack, barely any defense. Every walker is a street urchin who survived through the streets by pickpocketing. Now he's a cunning, charming leader. So the premise of this game is that you are leading a team of uh, adventurers who want to become the greatest explorers of their age. Victor Signac. This guy seems pretty cool. Uh, as a decorated military captain, his words and skills motivate friends and foes to follow him. Wants to impress with rare finds. From present day France. Oh, cool. So actually, present day Russia. We got a Canadian. Yeah, it's a devious and friendly. Oh, cool. So, it gives, oh, no, she's just devious. So, Victor. Um, this guy's kind of cool. We'll pick a soldier, sure. Um, we can do random crew. All right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pick him. So now we got our crew members. So this suggests. So I'm just. Gonna, we're gonna follow through with suggestions. Oh yeah, Captain Perk. For glory. Wait, for glory. 50% uh, gold from encounters, 50, uh, plus five renown from encounters. So what's uh, Queen Explorer, whenever you uh, plus one campaign thingamadoodle, whenever you uh, solve an encounter deviously. Uh, the bonus improves with E. Interesting. This guy uh, gains 75% gold from treasure hunt stuff. She's a student, right? Completing research papers gives your study token a random improvement. That's kind of cool, if that is what I think it is. So now, symbols, oh, that's Thailand, okay. Uh, it's the best, best mustache. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Hildegard Haas. How did this adorable Austrian magician get here? This expedition isn't safe for children. Um, well, so... Vic yeah, no, we're going with Hildegard, because that character is just adorable. Um, what'd she even do? So, boosts the spirit of an ally with a cheer. She's a good addition to most teams, as long as uh, she doesn't have to physically attack. Well, Victor... 
is he's a pretty good fighter it seems so I feel like we're gonna want what kind of scientist or um, Kwa Philippe or Kwame uh, here's Philippe well I've already got a speaker so I don't need uh, Kwame I'm curious what does she have or he sorry I was looking at the 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 picture here where my mouse is and frankly my vision's not too good either so I couldn't tell any detail other than big hair uh, so Kwame is a great speaky dude but no we've got Philippe from Algeria huh. Why did I just suddenly brain fart on my geography of where the heck Algeria is? Uh, not that it matters too much, but let's see what does he do. So he's balanced scientist with great attack and speech defense, but lacking in armor. So if I pick Philippe, we are incredibly fragile. Oh cool, this shows how we get captains. So I have to complete two expeditions with Hildegard to get her as the captain. 100% I want her as a captain. Uh, and... Interesting. Okay. Out of curiosity. I can't find out. Alright, well... Oh, and he starts... Tactician, diplomat, naturalist, engineer, rogue. So we've got... I'm curious real quick... We'll go with this, sure. Oh, I haven't started a timer! This video will be slightly longer. Make sure you don't run out of supplies or you suffer dire consequences. Oh no, I gotta do the tutorial? Uh, awesome! Welcome to Renowned Explorers. Your goal is to achieve the most renown possible and beat your rivals in the race for the most renowned title for most renowned explorer. Renowned explorers use unique concepts. All right. Um, I know what expedition. Just skip the tutorial. Uh, all right. I'm gonna do the encounters one real quick. Uh, it's very difficult from what uh, different from what you might do. Apparently, reading is very difficult for me. Uh, I know about the... Alright, so we know about the basics, moods and emotions. This is the one that I don't know. Uh, mastering moods and emotions. Uh, I'll do this. We'll skip it if we don't. Alright, finish the tutorial. You diplomat, you Machiavellian, you conqueror. Okay. What about the different attitudes? So I know what those were. So basically... Um, these are just different different ways that you can approach an encounter, um, either by being friendly, being a jerk, or punching them, which is different than being a jerk, mind you, because this is a manipulative jerk, and this is a physical jerk. Well, kind, um, wolves will always be aggressive, but kind villagers may be friendly unless you physically attack them. So, the way it works is it pairs your, uh, yeah, okay. So it pairs your attitude with their attitude. So these guys are currently feeling devious. And it's a rock, paper, scissors, so... Um, no, I don't want to do that. If it, I'm, my dudes are all friendly. And being friendly is... Um, uh, is counter is a counter to being devious. So watch. What I got? Try to enrage is... Move here. Oh, uh, won't let me. All right, I'm gonna take him off. <laughs> you must have us a homestead, and your father smelled of elderberries. All right, so my mood is now devious. So the mood has become tense. You're both hurling insults and threats at each other. And I can learn, I can change the mood. Change the attitude changes the mood. Uh, since moods are the combination of attitudes, right. Uh, so, yeah, current at my attitude, Current mood, opponent's attitude. Got it. Yeah. Oh, this is this is a neat chart. Um. Some are in your favor, while others are terrible. All right. Yeah. No, I, I got this now. So 
So yeah, see, it says, um, if I were to go friendly to their tents, then I would have an advantage here. Probably in fact, yes. Interesting. So, uh, if you're friendly, a devious person can get persuaded, yeah. Devious people can make aggressive people lose their focus, and aggressive people can easily beat up a friendly person. Yeah, alright. So the current mood is tense, but now I want to use a friendly mood. Go get him, Hildegard. We're gonna press this guy right here, right? Oh, I gotta target him, okay. Ta -da! <gasps> So he, he absolutely loved that magic trick, and also he doesn't want to beat up a little girl. Uh, emotions, this is what I want to see. So emotion like terrified or excited tags to a character. Character by this ability under the right circumstance will gain that emotion. Right, so uh, impressed. So an impressed target gains uh, penalty to speech defense. Right, but if there's like encouraged, as I recall. Yeah, I found my abilities. Um, yeah, it raises speech, so I, I can excite my own character to increase their speech power. Right. Or, like, I could have um, Felipe here, or Philippe, sorry, uh, empower Victor to attack better. Is that a switchblade? Alright. We're gonna be encouraging. I win. So now we are persuasive. They should take a leaf out of my book. Enter. So, unnerving is... Unnerved means that my attack power is lower. But, you know what? Show them some magic. He's impressed. Doesn't want to fight. Alright. Yeah. There we go. That's great. Uh, enough time for adventure. This is it! You just got the renowned Explorers International Society membership. Victor wants to make a big entrance and wants to investigate a mystic appearance, a druidic stone circle. Rumor has it the Celtic druids set up a sect here long ago. It's time for adventure. We have no time for these tutorials. I, I apologize for the terrible French accent. I just have I have a blast doing it. Uh, so campfire stories. After exploring a few places, the meter in the bottom of the right will fill and you may start a campfire. That allows your crew to tell each other campfire stories that give powerful upgrades and sometimes start relationships. And hopefully just friendships here. Alright, yeah, sure, remind me about that, because there's going to be a lot of tutorials. So until my... The way I learn with these games, is, as I wave my hand to gesture at the computer, is, so this costs supplies, but supplies may be found here. Well, I'm already at max supplies, so really, do I want to... But the way I learned these is I keep seeing those tutorial messages until I'm so sick of them I remember them. Alright, also something to note here, Resolve. If Resolve goes to zero, we lose. We lose Resolve each time one of our characters is incapacitated in a fight. Alright, there's gold and research to be found here. What an amazing place! The nature here has remained untouched for ages. The forest cliffs hold some valuable ore. Crew could spend days here, but to really get a result, it needs to focus on one task. Will you spend the day collecting research, collecting valuables, or get or spend extra supplies to get both? Or, Philippe, being the brilliant mastermind engineer that he is, at level one, shall engineer some makeshift tools to do it both in one day. Yes, Philippe. So that gives us um, collection token or gold tokens and research tokens or study. So okay, collect tokens and study tokens. All right. So this can give us status and gold. There might be an encounter. I'm actually, we're going to go here and go ahead and gain some supplies. Nice, you found a grove full of edible berries, vegetables, and clean water. It's time to restock some of your supplies. We gain three, you mean one supply. All right, we're going to go here, gain some status. Crew stops at an open field. Delicious rare mushrooms are growing here in small troops. Is that the term for a collection of mushrooms? These delicacies will grow down... Go down great at parties or as a gift to other renowned explorers. Okay, so we got some campaign tokens. Or, yeah, that gives us status. There's research to be found here. Alright, well, let's go to... Alright. 
Crew walks over some fallen trees in the forest when Philippe slips and falls. He goes tumbling down before landing bottom first on a rotten trunk, breaking the trunk in two. Ouch! Philippe's rear may be in agony, but Hildegard realizes that the rotten trunk actually holds some interesting mold samples. A lucky accident! Oh. Let's click here and start a campfire. Crew is gathered around a special campfire where stories are told, or even created. You can pick one story every expedition from your hand to upgrade and transform your crew. Finish a game of Renowned Explorers to unlock more campfire stories. Um, so Victor, his character abilities, what, what a rusty, interesting. Um, manage my crew and inventory. They write research papers already? Alright. Um, I, I'm sorry, I've already forgotten what Victor's special benefit is. Captain Perk. Bonus gold and bonus renown. So, we can be super rich. Oh, but he gets bonuses from encounters, right? So, we want to focus on... What is... Click this. Start this campfire story. A heated debate takes place. Who is the fanciest philosopher in history? Victor makes a case for the orderly virtue ethics of Aristotle. But Philippe has no ear for his boring philosophies. No. Philippe thinks highly of Voltaire. Not that he knows what Voltaire stood for. I don't think Voltaire knew what Voltaire stood for, actually, if you read some of his works. But Philippe has heard he was quite the charmer. Now that is fancy. That's, that's wonderful. Alright. Good night. So what happens if I discard something? We're getting plenty of gold. Oh, oh I don't want that. Study is important for... Uh, you know, we spent... Alright, let's discard this. I cannot. Okay. Um, I want to get down here crew hears the rambling of another person in the woods. As far as Victor knows, there aren't any villagers nearby. Who is this person? The crew quietly goes to take a look. It's a university member. She's startled by your sudden appearance, but is impressed by your renowned explorer's membership. I'm looking for the antiquities of Celtic cultures, but I'm interested in all history. Egyptian, Carib, you name it. And I could help you with documentation. That's a great idea. She's delighted. Always wanted to help the renowned explorers. I won't let you down. You'll make amazing discoveries. I just know it. She's added her papers to your research. So we just have to make sure we do do accreditation. Got it. All right. So we're going to get status, gold, and there may even be an encounter, which will be fun. A group of wolves being very protective, protective and tutorial. They're launching an attack on you. Starts a rank one encounter. All right. Devious for each encounter to so I, I if I'm devious, which I, my people aren't exactly great at. Um, so I don't get any rewards if I have any points in this attitude, but if I do devious, then I'll get renowned gold and status, which will be increased. Oh, it, it's a it, that's a range. Not okay. Okay, Let's start the encounter. So, oh, ah, son of a gun. Try to enrage. So, I, 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 you'll notice that I only have 80% here. Allez-vous, fromage! So now we are provocative. Alright, um, and now I can make it really sad. One, okay, so there's... What's the range on this? I don't know. But I can move here. Oh. I'm gonna spook it! Oh no, a clown! Brown Wolf is absolutely terrified of clowns. 
wants nothing to do with our party. Uh, I am poking the wolf, the bear, whatever. So I can sadden it and give it a penalty to speech. I don't want to make it confident and attack it. Uh, so here's the thing. I take that wolf out. And I don't think that's going to change the, uh... The oh, sweet. It's just, yeah. Felipe, no! My god, you killed him! It must be done, Hildegard. Alright, the wolf moves into attack. That's fine. So now we are going to try. Stop it! And move over here and just scare the wolf away. Before uh, Philippe. Before Philippe's bloodlust gets the better of him. Alright, he is absolutely terrified. So we did it with a devious victory, which gives us all the goodies. Um. You've earned this because of your devious attitude, so... Reach Encounter Token, you'll receive the following resources after completing an expedition. Right, right, right. Best way to beat such animals is by showing them who's boss. The wolves become intimidated by your presence and flee. Fleeing wolves are followed by crying pups. Oh, they make away safely. Okay, so we didn't... The series unexplored. We don't know what we're going to get here. Probably nothing. Oh, I found a hidden horde of this expedition. Every expedition, there's a hidden horde to be found. On this occasion, fate smiles upon your crew. The crew finds... Ooh, treasure hunt. A secret. I think I've, I've got tons of discoveries already. Oh, what's the secrets give me? A bunch of status and research. All right. Two. That's my target. So let's go here. What a weird place. The ground is getting increasingly soft. The air starts to smell foul. Weird rocks stand between the crooked trees. Victor thinks you've reached a pretty special point in this forest. Let's investigate further. She's so happy. While looking around, Philippe notices clues of fossilized remains. The crew is getting excited. Maybe you could find your first fossils right in this swampy place. Alright, so what happens if we fail? We lose some supplies. Better than, uh, better than even chances. Hildegard will do it. She doesn't afraid. Huzzah! A great success! Hildegard returns with a smell worse than the London sewers, but with good results. Not only did Hildegard find some valuables, but Hildegard thinks you should also be looking for... Oh. I mean, a helix fossil, of course. Crew is wildly enthusiastic and starts the excavation right away. Normally this takes longer, but the soft ground makes it easier. After hard work, the crew finds something special. So we can find an ammonite fossil, or a stegosaurus skull, or some clear amber, but most likely the um, uh, ammonite. There it is! We got the helix fossil. So... Choice is recommended for our current situation. If you think you know better than Chairman Pinkerton, which I frankly don't, then disable his recommendation to the starting menu. Alright, yeah, let's go with the discovery. Find a good find tre a good find. Find a treasure to take home. The treasure here is dug up, the crew can concentrate on the druidic circle. And we still got some study anyway. Alright. There's status to be gained here. But golden research to be gained here. The crew finds an overgrown rock formation with some rare herbs growing on it. However, Hildegard recognizes that useful minerals might be in the rocks uh, in the rock. Hildegard is curious to see what is in there. Uh, the crew is now at a dilemma. Philippe wants to save the plants for research. Hildegard is giddy to see more is in the rock, but at the cost of destroying the herb's habitat. It doesn't look like I have a choice. Mine! 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 We need to know! Or we need to know! Oh, she's obsessively curious. I love it. It's decided. Mining it is. Philippe reluctantly agrees, and the crew mines the whole rock, destroying the habitat. So we gain some study. Uh, I only have one supply left.
It's real tempting to go here and just eat the one supply loss. What's this? I gain insight. Oh. All right. Uh, so what happens? Does it... Oh, these got discarded automatically, okay. Well, um, I really wanna, I, I wanna go here, but the best option, the Druidic Circle must be somewhere around. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. Onwards. Crew vigorously searches through the dense forest. It doesn't take long before you find a standing stone circle. The ruined main main uh, the ruined main men here must contain valuable information to study. It will surely skyrocket reputation at the renowned explorers. However, you hear a familiar laugh. Ho 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 ho! Behind you stands the renowned French explorer Rivalo, who is considered to be the most promising of the renowned explorers. He got here just before you did. Thank you, amateur. Under Rule 24B of the Explorer Mandate, fellow explorers should help each other out. And I think I really need to take the main men here to impress a lady. Explain all the hard work you had to do to get here. Revelo looks amused. Oh, please, explorer. We both know that this treasure is better off in my hands. Allow my shop companion, Amir Akhtar, or Amir Akhtar, to explain to you in cleaner words while I take the men here. Hey, wait a minute. So before he can stop with Stop Revelo, the crew scout uh, Amir stops you. What's your problem, my friend? Goodness me, there's no need to yell. So we defend ourselves. I think we have to be devious here. Yeah, so friendly. Amir thinks we're weak. Uh, aggressive. Amir is mildly impressed. So we're at a disadvantage here because our people aren't as good at being devious. But uh, if we are devious in this encounter. Amir admires our sharpness. So... So here's the thought. I could probably lock them in place. This way I have three people attacking these guys at a time. Oh, this music. Or I could brush over here, take these guys out. Um, or try to. Uh, I think the trick is to do this, is to move forward some. Try to terrify this guy. Boogity boo! Boogity boo indeed. He's absolutely terrified of our crew. Uh, range two tiles. Awesome. So if I move here, try to sadden this man. <laughs> now he is unhappy. Uh. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move here. Oh, this also has a range of two tiles. He becomes enraged and just loses it. Throws his hat. All right, well, that's my turn. Oh, that was mean. All right, so he's gonna try moving around, that's fine. We're a little surrounded here. Um, so he'll have a penalty to speech defense if I do this. Also, friendly abilities are way more powerful. So I could actually just take this guy out real quick. Ta -da! <gasps> um... Which 
one's more likely. All right, so we're actually going to go try to sadden him. Oh, that was a fumble. All right, and that's the problem with doing this uh, outside of war. Just take the best guy out. Alright, so that might have just ruined it for me. Oh no, it did! Oh no, I was hoping... I, why did it give me two? Should have only given one. Alright, well... So you thought you won over Amir's heart, but he lost, lost in your face. Ha ha ha, your kindness is weakness, bye! Alright, outrageous. Suddenly a hooded figure appears on screen. Oh, hey, look at this. Amazing. Mm, he's Scottish. Amazing. I saw how you ha- oh, Wow. What? All right. Amazing. I saw how you handled that encounter just now. Your friendly solution is admirable. I'm honored that someone like you is looking for our history. Allow me to help with a divination. Tell me, what is your dream you chase? Uh, as I recall... Oh, okay, so I still get something. Um... Make an amazing contribution by scientists to the world. It gives me the sea sapphire. Or become famous and respected explorer. I think it was he wanted to be a famous and ex respected explorer. So we'll go with this one. The druid smiles. Ah, fame, of course. I knew a Celtic burial site with items to bedazzle the world. The druid leads the crew and suddenly stops uh, to tell the crew to start digging. The crew finds popular truffles and a unique treasure. That unique treasure is the, uh, the Baryonyx Claw. That's cool. What a claw of a dangerous looking dinosaur that you discovered. So I can collect it or gain a ton of gold. Oh, gain extra study. No, I don't, I don't want that because I'm not resolving encounters deviously. With that last find, your expedition still concludes on a high note. It'd be clear that if you want to, uh, it's clear that if you want to become the most renowned explorer, you have to best drive alone. Now it's personal. Back to Explore! So we're a little devious. Which is unfortunate given that we, uh, are a big friendly group of friends, but... So we got six renowned. Oh, here we have to show this all That's a lot of gold. All right, exotic location uncovered in the Irish Isles by promising explorer. Oh, it's Irish. I'm sorry. Victor explorer. Uh, promising explorer. Victor Signac. Explorers. Um, society board members are excited by the progress of this crooked capitalist. Oh. All right. Well. A magnificent job! The Board of Renowned Explorers International Society is impressed by your exploration skills and the highlights. For this achievement, oh, it's not sure if Chairman Pinkerton talking, gives you an upgrade to your airship, which lets you carry more supplies. Um, I know how the world map works, actually. Or at least I can figure that out. We know the drill, Pinkerton, let's hurry. Alright, membership. So we gain, we have insight. Alright, let's take the treasure. All right, I know that the thing went off, but let's do some level up so I can get a tactician or I can get some more diplomat. But here's the thing, is she's a diplomat already. Classical physics. Hmm. I kind of want to up her diplomatics. Is this etiquette? Sure. Which means for you, we're just going to go full on tactician. And Philippe. Uh, I like the engineering stuff. Let's go with that. Amnesia shot. Interesting. All right. So now, spending research. Student Jane joins our entourage and we gain two insight. Interesting. 
So choose this field if you want to advance through research faster. Uh, I'm going to make the most of my actions in cities. So starting this project will reduce the cost of our entourage hall. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to post this video for Wednesday. And what time is it? Because I do have work. Uh, I'm just going to post this video for Wednesday. And if uh, anyone watching this wants to give me kind of a rundown of how, how uh, best to handle the research, I'm not going to, I'll do a re uh, reporting later yeah well thanks so much for watching everyone this has been polius playing uh mount explorers see you all next time